Hey everybody, this is Daryl Thompson. I'm the worship pastor at Taylor's Valley Baptist Church. And as we continue our Advent series, I'm excited today to share with you about the word joy. In Psalms 98, it says, make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Break forth into joyous song and sing praise. Let the sea roar and all that fills it, the world and those who dwell in it. Let them sing before the Lord for he comes to judge the earth. At Christmas time, when I hear the word joy, the first thing that pops into my mind is the song, Joy to the World. I bet it does for you too. Did you know that the song, Joy to the World, wasn't written as a Christmas carol? There's no mention of shepherds, Bethlehem, wise men, or angels singing. Its lyrics are a joyful paraphrase of Psalm 98 a psalm of David about salvation and praise. Joy to the world is not about Christ's birth, but rather about the return of Christ. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her king. Isaac Watts wrote and published this as a poem based on Psalm 98 in 1719. Dr. Watts was somewhat of a rebel in his day. In his day, the song selections in most Protestant churches were limited almost exclusively to the Psalms. He began to be frustrated with the singing and the music in churches and complained about it to his father. And his father challenged him to do something about it. So he did. And in some ways, Isaac Watts became the Chris Tomlin of his day. He began introducing extra biblical text to sing to. He wrote a volume of poems, it's a long title, as they were in those days, but the volume was called The Psalms of David, imitated in the language of the New Testament and applied to the Christian state and worship. While these poems were met with heavy criticism, many hungry souls found freshness and hard expression in their worship to their great God and King through the poetry of Isaac Watts. Other songs from Isaac Watts that you might know well are When I Survey the Wonders Cross, O oh God, Our Help in Ages Past. Watts interpreted Psalm 98 as a celebration of Jesus' role as King of both the church and the whole world. Christmas is a time for us to rejoice and celebrate the birth of Christ. But the greatest gift God offered through His Son was not only His life, it was His death and his resurrection, and the salvation that he offered to us. Joy to the world is meant to remind us of this. Jesus' birth was the start of his earthly ministry to save the world. But the best and final part is still to come, and that should bring great joy to all of us. In this joyous season, many people are sad, lonely, depressed. Perhaps you find yourself wondering, Where's all the joy? Maybe you have concerns about what's happening in your life and in the rest of the world. Or maybe you've gotten so stressed out over life, you don't know where the joy is. All the days blend together, even at Christmas. When we set our problems and circumstances next to the power and promises of Christ's return, it all pales in comparison. It is praiseworthy. It is worth a song of joy. First Peter, Chapter 1 says, Though you do not see him now, you believe in him and rejoice with joy that is inexpressible and filled with glory, obtaining the outcome of your faith, the salvation of your souls. Joy to the world celebrates the King of Kings who comes and makes his blessings known, far as the curse of sin and death is found. Sins and sorrows will flow no more when King Jesus renews all things. This Christmas, I pray that you will transform your thoughts from mundane to happy and from happy to joyous by resting in the fact that you are loved and forgiven by God, a great God who loves you and is coming back again for us someday. Repeat the sounding joy, my friends. Repeat the sounding joy.